Thank you, Marie, and thank you everyone for joining us on this extremely special night. Over the past two years, we have cried in this woman's office and laughed in this woman's office. She always knew what to say to make us feel better. And after every visit, we'd be sure to steal candy off her desk before leaving the room. I know she's excited to get on her sailboat for the summer, so let's not delay this any longer. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the class of 2016's keynote speaker and the chair of this wonderful department. Please welcome Lisa Cooley. Thank you, Megan. You know, when they asked me to be the keynote speaker, I went, no. <laughs> and then they all looked at me and I went, okay. I'm truly honored to have been asked to be your keynote speaker for tonight's Nursing Penny Ceremony for your class. Let me begin by congratulating everyone here tonight. First and foremost, to my new colleagues. We're being pinned here tonight. Welcome to our profession. I'm so very proud of you, but you know that. I know it's not been an easy journey. I've been there to see you laugh and to see you cry. You've gone through a tedious academic and professional journey, one that can only be successfully completed through the hard work, diligence, your many sacrifices and determination. The nursing curriculum is very intense and elaborate, yet through thick and thin, the joys and the challenges, you did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, I'd like to thank all of the nurses here tonight. Thank you for being the inspiration and guides that have helped to make this wonderful group of caring professionals possible. I want to also say thank you to all of the professors, yes I saw you sneak into the back row, and the support staff here at Jefferson for your continued dedication to our Jefferson nursing students. You played such an important role in helping them succeed in achieving their goals. And finally, thank you to all of the family members here tonight. Thank you for your countless sacrifices and your support of these fabulous new nurses. They couldn't have done it without you. So I've been thinking about tonight since you asked me to be your keynote speaker. As all of you know, I think of all of you as my children. So I thought, what would a good mother say to her children? A couple nights ago, I was asking my husband, which you probably know very well by now after two years of hearing all of his stories, and I told him I wanted to talk at the ceremony and I wanted, it to say, I wanted to say something that would be useful and that would make a difference for you. He looked at me and said, do you remember anything that was said at your pinning ceremony? <laughs> I have to admit, I do not. <laughs> what I do remember is how I felt that day and how much becoming a nurse meant to me and my loved ones. So this kind of made me wonder, what memories would you take away with you tonight? Maybe the actual moment that you receive your pin, or the hugs, or the joy and the tears of those you love. Maybe this night will stand in your mind as the point at which you move from the safety of being a student, depending on others, to now having others depend on you for their lives and well-being. Bottom line is each of us takes something different from our pinning. What it's common to all of us, however, is that pinning is the beginning of a wonderful, uncertain, sometimes frightening time in one's career. In my heart, I know you're ready. So back to my charge to say something that might help you move forward to your new career given that you're probably not going to remember anything that I say tonight. I'll keep it kind of brief. I'll tell you a little story. You know I'm good at that. 
This story is one I read about a nurse who had graduated from her nursing program, and she was known as the class clown. The picture on the cover of the story was what drew me to this. The nurse was sitting, huddled on a rock in the middle of a river, with the rotor of a sunken life flight helicopter sticking up behind her. The precious cargo on this flight was a critically ill baby. The nurse, who was known as the class clown, had become the courageous, remarkable, don't give up nurse. Against all odds, that nurse made her way out of that helicopter when it crashed. And with baby held close, she swam to the rock that was sticking out of the water. She held that baby close, doing all she could to keep the baby warm until rescue could arrive. She saved that baby's life that day when so many others died. So why am I telling you about this nurse? <laughs> you see, her story reminded me of the goodness and the greatness that lie within all of us and the remarkable power of being a nurse. As you think about this story, I want you to realize that this is a story about the nurses Jefferson prepares. You see, that nurse was ready for what she faced, and so are you. She had the same strong character and commitment as you do. She also had the strong educational foundation that you have, although I'm guessing you don't appreciate it yet. <laughs> you see, it's really not possible for you to know the power of your prepared mind and your newly acquired knowledge and skills until you actually use them. But you will, and through this you will touch the lives of so many others who need you in the same way that all nurses are needed. So the words to remember for the future as you proceed forward into your careers, given that you're not going to remember what I've said here tonight, I'll only ask you to remember three words. Just three. Okay? You ready? Here it goes. You are ready. You are ready to go into the world as nurses that truly care. Not at nurses that are solely in it for the money, but you are ready to go in as those nurses whose sense of caring is saturated with genuine love, compassion, selflessness, all because you are ready I'm so very, very proud of all of you. My office door will always stay open in case you ever need to cry. I've restocked tissues. And congratulations. <laughs>